you know, it's possible your cell phone and Facebook page could actually help police catch a criminal. A Medina County woman found this out when a man broke into her home, assaulted her, and stole her cell phone. Police say strange pictures started popping up on her Facebook page. Kristen Severance with our partners at the Ohio News Network talked to the U.S. Marshals who tracked down that suspect. And Chris, how did those pictures end up on the victim's page? All right, Alicia, when I take a photo with my phone here, I'm going to take a, a photo of the newsroom camera and the teleprompter. So it asks me if I want to then post that photo to Facebook or Twitter or anywhere else on the web. And for some people, the photos automatically get posted to their page. And luckily for police and this victim, that's exactly what happened in this case. Police say 25 year old Sean Pack broke into this Hinkley Township home and started looking for things to steal. And she had all those newspaper out there in the front, and everything looked like nobody was around. So that probably looked like easy pickings for him, you know. The 67 year old homeowner was there. Police say she heard what happened and came downstairs with a gun. The two wrestled and she broke her wrist. They beat her up took a few of her items and fled the scene. One of those items, her cell phone. The U.S. Marshals say strange photos started popping up on the victim's Facebook page. The cell phone was set to post the pictures on Facebook automatically. The U.S. Marshals Violent Fugitive Task Force tracked down the person with the phone who told them he bought it from PAC. That it is kind of dumb, huh? Authorities arrested PAC within 36 hours of the attack. What people don't understand is when you post things on Facebook, um, once it gets out in that multimedia social network, anybody can get a hold of it and anybody can use it any way they need to. And in this case, it led to an arrest. Pack is in the Medina County Jail tonight on a $1 million bond, and he's facing robbery and assault charges. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kristen Severance, the Ohio News Network.